everyone happy sunday to everybody so i'm back again today to share a couple of more dies from ks craft that i was able to play with uh valentine's day is just around the corner you guys it's next monday so anyway i really wanted to um share these um two dies with you guys i think these are the last two valentine related dies and then from here on it's gonna be spring and easter crafting so <laughs> this is probably the last couple of uh, projects that i'm going to be doing for valentine's so anyway um i did put together this layering chocolate it's really cute and i absolutely love the word die that says i love chocolate so there's three pieces to layer the chocolate so first you have this um, bottom piece right here so you cut out the you know color of your chocolate either white chocolate or um, brown chocolate and then you would layer this piece over that and then the ones with the little squares that's the one on top and you get a nice looking chocolate and then um, the wrapper part, I kind of got a little confused with, but anyway, this would be your wrapper. And then there is a layering piece that you put. I think the thicker piece goes over first and then the smaller, thinner piece right here goes over it like that. And I'm gonna share with you guys what I did with that. And then this part is the bottom part, which is also the foiled. And the example on the, um, chaos craft store um, she had put it together this way but which I kind of really didn't understand because if you if you're looking at a real chocolate bar though uh, I think it's it's pretty straight um, you know because usually it's it's a rectangle you know rectangular chocolate and it's wrapped in foil so I'm not sure why there's a wavy line here so I did mine this way instead of where that wavy line is this way I mean unless the chocolate is melted um, <laughs> um, I don't see why that has to be kind of wavy so anyway that's just me I don't know I just kind of got a little confused with that part but I just layered it as best I could and so I'll show you guys what I ended up doing with that one and then um, I also played with this heart chocolate box and um, there's lots of little pieces in there. This does take some time to do because there's lots of little flaps, but it comes out so nice, you guys. It's so cute. So I did create a couple of boxes for you guys. All right, so let me go ahead and share my projects. So for my layered chocolate, I went ahead and put it together and I put it on top of this box here and... I didn't have a candy bar in hand, but I just kind of looked up the dimensions of what a Hershey's milk chocolate bar would be. And so I just created this box. I just kind of whipped this up. Um, this is a two and a half inches by five and a half inches assembled. And I just added a little bow there. Um, I just used whatever bow die I had <laughs> out or um, nearby. And then I did put this chocolate piece. So I don't even know if I did the layering piece right like I wasn't sure where to put the foiled part I thought it would be on like the outside of you know um, the outside part of the wrapper that's wrapping the chocolate so anyway I don't know if this was supposed to be um, this way I don't know if I layered it correctly but anyway that's how I did it <laughs> so um, I love this part though the I love chocolate I love that sentiment it's so cute because I do love chocolate and then again I just have this part peeking out which is the silver portion um, the foiled um, part of the wrapper so anyway that's how I did it and um, the back looks like that and it should hold you know a chocolate bar in there so I guess depending on what chocolate bar it is um, but that's the dimensions I went with. So isn't that cute? It's really cute. Um, so anyway, I did that. And then with the heart chocolate box, there is again, a lot of layering pieces in this one. So, um, 
You do, um, you can create a shaker on the top or you can just create a frame. Um, I did a window on mine just like uh, Jen did. Um, Jen, who is Strawberry Cream 39. I really love the way she did her chocolate box with the little uh, window on the top. And so that's how I did mine. So these are the um, top. So um, this piece um, connects to this piece right here, like, you know, so. Um, Hannah has a tutorial on it, so she does a really great job. So you guys can check that out. This piece would be like on top here. And then if you wanted to create a window, then you would use this piece right here with this piece. That's how I did mine. And you put it on the inside and that will create your window. And then this is just a layering piece that I used. And then I put the acetate behind it. And with the acetate, I just kind of fussy cut it myself um, to get the shape. And then you do have um, two sides here. And I had to um, label mine because they're almost the same size. But this top piece is just a tiny bit longer. It's maybe like an eighth inch longer than the bottom piece. And so this piece attaches to the side, this, this piece here. Both of the, these two pieces. And then this one is... Um, the bottom piece and it attaches to this piece which is the very very bottom of your box so I hope I'm making sense um, but anyway like I said Hannah has a wonderful tutorial on her channel on her YouTube channel and she goes over it um, on how to put this together so let me just share with you guys what I ended up doing I did um, create a chalk an actual chocolate box so isn't, isn't this pretty you guys i had this paper out because i'm doing a bunch of valentine uh favor bags for my daughter like i created 20 of them you guys it's quite a lot so that's why i've been really really busy and anyway i had this paper out and this is one of the older papers from michael's i want to say it is this one right here hashtag awesome valentine it could have been from this one Look how pretty this is. Isn't this just fun? And so as you can see, I did create my window. And then I put this bow that I just had in my stash that was already made. And then here is the foil. Um, little triangle. Which is like the, not triangle. Did I say triangle? The frame. The foiled a heart frame, which is this one right here. And it's just so beautiful. It just, I mean, look at it. It's so beautiful. And I didn't use like um, really thick paper either because I wanted to just use up my um, Valentine's papers. And you really don't need to because it's, it's pretty sturdy on its own. And um, the only thing I doubled was the bottom. So I was able to fit, this is how much you can fit in here. These little minis, I was able to put two Kit Kats in there. Um, I did, oh sorry, three Kit Kats. I did two Linder chocolates and then five Hershey's Kisses. Why is there only three here? I could have sworn I put five in here, but it can easily hold five, I promise you. Because I also put the shreds and on the bottom here, this is where I reinforced it using that bottom heart piece I cut two of them so one for the bottom and one for the inside and isn't this nice friends are the best therapy yes <laughs> so isn't this fun you can fit so much chocolate in here I could not believe how much so anyway that is my very first box that I had created so let's see if I can get this back in there and let it close up so in the inside, you can't really line it. It's kind of hard to hide all those flaps. Um, so I didn't even try, but <laughs> um, it's okay. Nobody's going to really look at that. But isn't this beautiful? I just love it. It's so elegant. So there's my first one. So that's with chocolate inside it. And then I had to create one. Isn't this pretty? 
I used that new Valentine's paper from Michaels, which is called Sweetheart, I think it's called. Um, it is called Sweetheart's Day. And this time I decided to use the gold cardstock just on this piece and on the bow. But isn't this cute? This bow actually I made a long time ago. I found it in my stash just trying to use up what I have and I just added it here. So that's why the paper is a little bit different, but it doesn't matter. Um, but I had to use this one. I love these conversation hearts. And then I also used it on the bottom piece right here. Again, I cut this bottom piece twice so I can line the inside. And then that's how the inside looks like. And then on the inside, I did share this on Instagram. And these are my little rosettes. And this is using... Um, the new um, diamond rosette die and I did do a tutorial on that and it's the same way to put together um, the smaller one this one is a pretty full um, as you can see there's a lot of folds on this one so I actually used just two pieces of the smaller uh, diamond dimensional diamond rosette die and just use some stickers from Michaels and then this is just another uh, die from my stash and anyway I just created all of these using the diamond rosette die which I did not pull out I apologize but yeah and this box can fit four of these rosettes as you can see one two three four and um, It doesn't like completely close all the way down, but for the most part it does. But isn't that pretty? And I just love how it has the window, but of course you can make this a shaker if you wanted to. Um, you can see how Hannah put hers together because she didn't um, put a shaker. I don't think she did a shaker on hers. I think she just made it solid. But you could decorate it with flowers, with a bow, you know, anything you want. But I wanted to make mine with a window. So that's how my chocolate box came out. I think they're so adorable. I love them so much. And you can use this all year round, actually. It doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. All right. And then um, because I had pieces that popped out of this, you know, geo-looking heart, um, I just went ahead and just kind of made little embellishments out of them because I didn't want to toss them. So I did that, and this is just um, a Michaels um, sticker, cardstock sticker. And then um, I also did this one. I just did two layers. So that piece popped out of this one right here. So didn't want to waste them. So there you go. I made embellishments, and I even made embellishments to decorate this. And this one has, this is um, a ready-made um, little tub from... Um, Hobby Lobby. I have a bunch of chocolate in there. What's left over from my daughter's, um, you know, for her Valentine's Day um, little loot bags. But see, I did another Geo heart there. I really liked the teal um, popping out against, popping up against the red. So I did that. So you can just, you know, make these cute embellishments and put it on, you know, any of your projects um here is another geo heart that i created and i put some sequins there from hobby lobby and then this is the sticker from michaels and these are the little loot bags that i made for my daughter you guys <laughs> i made 20 of them yeah quite a lot here's another one isn't this pretty it's so cute i love it and i just love um the shape of this little heart it's just different so anyway, that is my project for today. Thank you so much for watching. And let me know which one's your favorite. Which ones do you like? I really like the heart boxes, to tell you the truth. So cute. But anyway, have a great uh, week. And make sure you do check the description box. I will have the links to the chocolate bar and also to this heart chocolate box. All right, if you're curious and you want to check it out and you might want to buy it. All right, guys, talk to you later.